God couldn't have given us any more of an overcast, beautiful day to get out and plant in the pots. Do y'all hear all those chickens? <laughs> Talk about a hen party, right? I have no idea what, what the drama is about. Y'all wanna go see? Oh, they gonna huh. Oh, they're up on Daddy's boat. <laughs> they're silly. Silly willies. They think that boat is their perch. Aren't they the silliest? Yeah, they're gonna quit since I came up here, but that's okay, because we gotta get started, right? These knockout roses are so pretty, aren't they? Even though it's been raining and knocking most of their petals off, they're still pretty. We still love them. Okay, y'all, you see what an overcast day. It rained about a half an inch in the night. And I don't know about y'all, but that sun on me just has, y'all know what I mean? Yes. So, I'm going to take advantage of this today. Yes, I am. So, we're going to get over here. You see all these plants we got to plant. And let's see. Let me turn the Facebookers around. Facebookers! <laughs> And uh, yeah, we got all these plants to plant. And I'm gonna go gather my pots and plant. And we're gonna get out in the garden. And then I'll show y'all all around because many of y'all have wanted to see all around. So that's what we'll do soon, guys. I'll I'm not going to plant you and you. No, I'm not, but you're really pretty. What about maybe this? Let's keep this back. This is a pretty little succulent. Isn't it pretty? I think so too. Not about in, in this pot, this turquoise pot. I thought that would be pretty. We'll do that in a moment. You sit there. I'm gonna put a bunch of succulents in here. It rained about a half inch last night, so it must have blown in here because this is nice and wet in here, this potting soil. Let me go get my bag. Here in a moment. Let's see here. This one's pretty. That's pretty. Y'all know I love it because it's purpley. Let me put it. This one's got like three in it together. That's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Then here's a different one. And there's even this one that kind of grows taller like that. I like that. This one's pretty too, isn't it? Pretty. So, let's see. I don't ever really have a plan. I just start doing. And kind of take the bottom of your pot that you're going to plant and kind of spread those roots out a little bit. Maybe it breaks them up just a little bit makes it start growing really well again. Yes. Same with you, buddy. Let's ease you out of here. Yeah, the wind must have been blowing last night when it rained because these were under here. Y'all are out here in our outdoor kitchen. <laughs> Y'all see this table's perfect. It's really our outdoor kitchen, but I'll just wash it all off when I get finished. And so all these plants were underneath this roof, but I tell you, they're all really wet, like it blew in, which is not a bad thing. God was watering y'all, wasn't he? He was taking care of you. Yes, he was. Yeah. Let's see here. Get you around there. I never know. I never know what I'm going to do, guys. He's a, a little pot. There we go. There we are. What y'all think? What you think? Let me grab my potting soil to fill in with, y'all. Right back. I don't know if I like him in there or not. What do I do? Maybe I put another. Yeah, let's pull you back out, buddy. I'll find you another little place. Another little spot. Yes, I will. What do I do with your little pot? Here it is. We changed our mind on you. You sit right there for me. Let me grab my potting soil. Let's see. 
that and that. Maybe put this other little three succulent one in here on this side. Yeah, that looks a little, a little better. Yes, it does. Y'all see this wind? Isn't this crazy? It's May and it's been 90 something degrees all week and it's like this today, so it's beautiful for us to do this. I'll be right back with my potting soil. It's just right up here on the porch. taking care of my daddy like I was telling some of y'all uh, right after my mother passed away he ended up falling and breaking uh, not breaking but spraining really bad his ankle you know they tell you it's easier to heal if you break it than sprain it well that's the truth and he's been semi bedridden so I've been just here at the house and I've just been taking care of him that's all I've been concentrating on so I had got to get on here and cook with y'all but so many of you were asking, and so I'm just letting y'all know. I thought, well, I'll get on here real quick and tell y'all, don't, don't be giving up on me, um, cause I'll, I'll be back. Yes, I will. And I got all these plants, and I hate for them to end up dying and all of that good stuff, you know. So we better get these in the ground, and it's nice and cool today. This week, just having to do that with John. John's eating some really quick weeknight meals. Well, the first night I made red chicken. I thought I'm doing real good in the crock pot, you know, with the pasta and some garlic bread. The next night I made ham burgers. I just put them in a cast iron skillet and seared the outside. Then I slid them in the oven to bake. And I also had chopped a potato with some garlic and olive oil and salt and pepper kind of chunky style and I put it on a sheet in the oven so we had that in lieu of french fries and that was another quick weeknight meal and uh so I wasn't cooking chicken and dumplings and all that good stuff for John this week but he still was having something at the house cooked it's better than something out isn't it y'all I know it it is it is and then one night, one night, uh, I actually resorted to sloppy joes. That's how, that's how quick, quick night we had to do this past week. But you do what you got to do, right? You do. And John doesn't mind that at all as long as he's got something to eat. And he knows I'm going to keep something. I'm good for it later, right? Uh, don't think about me. It's such a that cute. Yeah, that's going to grow a little. I need to wash my pot. I always like to wash my pot off with that out of y'all's way. And let's see here. I usually just turn on my little sprayer. Kind of wash my pot off like that. I love this pot. It's semi-painted and semi age look you know and I like it it's got some cracks in it through the years but it's they're not bad enough to throw it yet so well begonias I'm just beating y'all up aren't I I'm sorry baby there we go get the pot one I may put this on my side porch my prayer porch as I call it where I sit and drink my coffee in the morning and read my Bible and then I need to wash those little leaves off because I got dirt all in y'all's leaves. Get y'all a little shower. And succulents, you do have to have a pot that drains. If you've got a pot that just doesn't have a hole in the bottom and holds water, they're not going to do it all good at all. Matter of fact, just about anything doesn't do very well with that, does it? It sure doesn't. Okay, guys, now. Now what y'all think? Does that look pretty good? I've got some hanging pots and all kinds of stuff I'm going to do. And then I'll take y'all on a little tour. Y'all been asking me and asking me. And I'll show y'all what I'll Okay, y'all. I'm back. 
I'm going to show you. I've been doing a lot of cleaning before I got on here. I had him last year in a big old pot like this, that pot. And um, the pot cracked on me during the winter. So I had to transplant that into that terracotta pot. And I like it so far. So that's why it kind of looks worn here and there. Because, yeah, he survived the winter. I had him in the carport. But he'll get to looking real pretty. And at Thomas Nursery, I planted those a while back. These um, bougainvilleas, they're beautiful. Beautiful. I'll just show you today, since we're walking around, and that one, it's another color. Very pretty. My sister Renee brought this while my mother was on hospice. She stayed here a whole bunch with me. And uh, she lives in central Louisiana in the Alexandria area. She brought me that. Isn't it beautiful? It almost looks like it's lit up, doesn't it? It's like such a gorgeous color to me. Truly, it is. And that is from last year. And so some of it actually froze a little bit. I'm going to come snip on that a little bit. But this is what I planted. Y'all look at this pergola. It is covered almost. I've been working on this for about mm, eight or ten years now. <laughs> I'm covering this pergola with this is wisteria. And it's a purple variety, of course. And then I also have muscadines on here that we make jelly out of. And it sort of looks like a grape leaf, that right there. Yeah. And, of course, we're growing, it's growing lots of little muscadines on it. I'll show you some down low. I've got to tie a bunch of this up and get, it's got some stuff that's not, wasn't invited. You see the, the little clusters here? So we're going to have... Lots and lots of muscadines this year. We'll make some jelly together. But yeah, I need to get in here and do some um, more tying up. I tie it up on the pergola here and there. So I've got to do that. And I've got lights under here, here and there. And I think I'm going to wrap some lights around that wisteria, the trunk of it. So, you know, in there, so it'll kind of light up in there at night and look pretty. These are some... My son, John Tyler, got me this purple succulent some years back, so it's about to overgrow its pot, but it looks really good in there, so I haven't moved it, and then I just did some purslane there, and this little pot I had inside last year, and a lot of things died. He died back, but now he's coming back, so I'm gonna let him he'll get big and just dump over and almost hit the ground there and that thing was on my porch that's portulaca and it came back right by itself so i said well i'm not gonna plant anything in there it's just growing and growing so that's why it kind of looks the way it does but it's it's coming on back so i'm gonna leave it be this is where y'all were with me planting earlier so i've had to wash i had dirt everything there so I just scrubbed everything down and I have dishes out here that we'll use so I scrub those and all of that let's see um, I did plant that um, azalea that was in here that my kiddos gave me um, Blake and Amanda for my birthday so I put that little guy over in there and I kind of trimmed him back because he had some dead pieces on him and I filled this with some succulents they look cute. That little pot, I've had that pot forever. And that little pot, I did have a green succulent in it and I decided to put the lavender colored succulent in it. And then I had a turquoise pot and I put that green succulent in it. And I took that in my kitchen. Um, I finally got this little palm planted. I've had a palm in there for years and it died one hard winter we had. And I didn't put anything in it, it hadn't in a couple of years. So I got that in there. And this little thing, I got this at Thomas Nursery last year, or the year before, I actually think. And I loved how it looked, and I added the moss. But um, my succulents died in it, and so I just added more succulents. Because honestly, guys, like this little thing was about 30 something dollars, so I just didn't throw it away. And I just added my own succulents this year. Why not, right? and then some moss. And I've got these little hanging pots. Let me walk y'all around here. 
these hanging pots I just put some of the um the plants that I showed y'all earlier in there and they'll get fluffier the only thing I think I'm gonna add to this is some more moss I want more moss hanging out and I want to get some sweet potato vines because they look real good hanging out of there too with what we already have in there and then there's the other one right here everything's just starting out I love that plant with the purple in the leaf and that's so pretty I think so too yes I do and then I have this little my back porch is kind of junked up with my stuff I was planting with but this is what I've got here this yellow bougainvillea isn't that pretty with the little chicken and I just put rocks on his feet to hold him down so the wind doesn't blow him over but I love that color of that bougainvillea that was at Thomas Nursery and that is the prettiest one I believe I've ever seen I just really really liked it oh yeah and I did some purslane and that purslane is you can't go wrong with it if you um if you don't know what to put just put purslane it's so easy um, and it blooms out and its little blooms will close at night and it's just so sweet I love it and this is what I was telling y'all didn't die back enough and it came back this year that's actually portulaca which is a variation of purslane but it has big old blooms on it so I like it as well and then I always put a palm up here by the hot tub I like that like if you're in it at night it just looks just looks nice you know kind of tropical I guess all right y'all we will walk on up here I love these I got these at Thomas Nursery years ago and they have multiplied like crazy they're just now starting to bloom but they'll bloom all over purple and that is a Mexican petunia is what Paula told me it was and aren't they pretty and I used to have some last year in my bougainvillea pot there each camera <laughs> I'm on two cameras guys but anyway I had them in my bougainvillea pot and it looked really good in there too but this year I just changed out since I found all those pretty boogies at Thomas Nursery this is one of my um knockout roses I John had built this sidewalk and all this rock well I actually did all the rock myself but John did the sidewalk and I just wanted a little filler this is our outdoor bathroom right here and I wanted a little filler and I put that little knockout rose and I tell you I have to trim it back constantly it did more than feel it just did crazy and y'all that is in red field dirt that I planted him so I thought well he's not gonna do good but I'm gonna try it well phew, just when you don't try it does crazy and here in the rocks we have all kinds of stuff from the property we have petrified wood all over and then if we go somewhere like if we travel to any kind of Caddo River those all came from the Caddo River when we travel with Brittany and Chance and we kayak and stuff. So we're always picking up rocks. And I know y'all are so surprised I got that purpley rock, right? <laughs> that came from the Caddo. So yeah, we're all the time bringing back rocks from other places. I think he came from somewhere. I'm about to get where I don't remember. I think somewhere in Oklahoma he came from. But anyway, we probably just look like ants moving dirt and rock everywhere right <laughs> i think so too and i had all my had all my plants some of them my pots in the carport so i've got dirt all in there i'm gonna blow out when i get through showing y'all around um on my side porch over here i've got some plants but i also have some inside i'm gonna get out so i'll show y'all my side porch later okay guys um I uh, got to get out to this garden, so I'm going to finish fixing it up later. Um, let's see. Get on around here. These, this live oak tree right here, and that one that's out there, that's two. This one right here, right there. Um... 
and then this one in front of us here that smaller one and then there's one more live oak tree out Let's see if I can point it out to y'all this camera it's right there and this camera it's right there um, those all came from my mama and daddy's yard um, in Calhoun Louisiana they have a big live oak in the front and the back no in the back and um, it would always do little ones and so they were always digging them up and I planted these honestly about five or six years ago and they are just they are doing so very well I'm just very pleased with it I love live oaks because they keep green during the winter and when everything else is so dead looking they are still green and I just love that about a live oak and my sister I'm always getting moss from her when I go down to Alexandria and I'm putting it in that tree and it <laughs> it always comes up missing I guess I'm too far north Louisiana I don't know I have trouble keeping moss in the trees around here this tree is old 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 and you see half of it's dead so we're having to we're thinking about having to take it down for it just falls and messes stuff up but it's been here since John was a little bitty boy it was already huge and like I say I wish I could have showed y'all where two of them were they were right out here and they fell on our house during two different times first year and the second year we built it we were roofing and siding our house every year the year we built it the second year <laughs> and the third year so that that got to be interesting and quite frustrating but um we did it anyway that's i'm sure the insurance company was happy with us but um anyway uh as y'all see all i've done so far is put ferns on my front porch hanging here and there and everything's just now beginning to bloom or to grow out like the banana trees you know they get really large right here my sister dug those up Renee's a landscaper my sister in Alexandria and so she dug those up at a plantation home they wanted them gone isn't that something <laughs> So she said, okay. So she asked me, did I want some? I said, yes. So she brought me some. Isn't that funny how some people will buy something that's really, really old and then they want to change it all up. I, I'm like, what in the world did you want something really, really old for? Sorry, I swatted y'all. I've got gnats flying all around me. All right, let's walk. This magnolia tree is, I don't know how old it is. Do you see how tall it is? It's huge. Um, it was John's grandparents. John grew up here in this yard. Many of you already know that. Well, not in the yard, but in a house in the yard. <laughs> and uh, the house was right here, and that's where that fireplace comes from. That was actually in the very back bedroom. It was kind of like a TV room they had. And... Um, my mother said do not tear that fireplace down when john was bulldozing down the house we had already built our home in this house and the house set right here my mother said leave that fireplace and i thought what a fantastic idea so she uh that's why it stayed there we didn't even think about that i guess we were overwhelmed with trying to build and get cleaned up so i owe her that that we kept that fireplace and it's really neat um, I want to plant some other stuff around it and get to it one day. Um, y'all see, um, I got plenty to do. That, do y'all see that dead looking tree? That is a black walnut and it was here John's whole life. And so it is dying back. You see, it's only got green down toward the bottom. So we're going to have to take it down as well. But it did grow another one popped up in the yard about 10 years ago um and so we said hey that's another black walnut so we um let me back off of him so y'all can see him. seriously about 10 years ago he popped up and look how big he is now i mean he's really nice size so um 
So we're thankful for that since that one was dying out. We sure were. And then there's lots of big, bigger oaks in the yard. This one is a nice size. This one had a fence in it. Y'all are almost out to the canning kitchen. Um, as you see, there was a fence post. and <laughs> His papa had a fence running right here. Uh, and that post just grew into that tree. And, or the tree grew around the post. And I love it. I love how it looks. And I love it's green. You know how it's kind of green in color. I really like it. And this is so nice and shady. I hope y'all can just gather a little bit about how nice and shady this tree is. Um, and this is really one of the smaller trees. One of the trees that, two of the trees that hit our home over there were way larger than this tree. Way, way, way larger than this tree. Um, that is a hay rake that John's papa would actually rake hay with. John's seen his papa doing that. It's made to be drawn with a horse or mule, but he even saw his papa hooking it to a small little tractor to do. So anyway, that's what that is. We just thought it was cute. And that place in the yard never grows grass. So I said, just stick it there because I was always having to weed eat around it right by that live oak from my parents. And I'm really happy to get those because we're um, currently, you know, trying to sell my parents' home in Calhoun. And so now I'm going to have something from there always. So I'm really thankful for that. And then I started a little bit down here at the canning kitchen. I've got to stake the tomatoes up and get those tied up today. But I came down here, so I was going to show y'all that. I planted some purslane in that little pot. And all these little hanging, hanging things. I put <clears throat> a couple little things in that I was showing y'all later. I mean, showing y'all earlier, not later. And then I kind of did the same thing, sort of just mimicked that around as a pattern. And I got this from Better Homes and Gardens at Walmart a couple of years back. And I just like it. It's like a bucket hanging off. I don't know. I just like it. So I stuck one of those little plants in there. And I hope they do well down in here. It's hard. It's so shady under this big old oak. It's real hard for me to grow things. I tried to put herbs all in there. Um, but it's just not sunny enough, so... I'm doing my herbs out in my garden and doing that. And I got this little, this little guy. We got some races about to be going on down the road. That's why y'all are here. And all these trucks, they're pulling little go-kart races. Um, anyway, I got that little guy because he doesn't mind some shade. So I planted him in that terracotta pot. And then I planted a couple little things here. This is where we sit and open the mail together. And I really need to do with that with y'all very, very, very soon. Yes, I do. And that's about it, guys. I'm going to get out here. I never did get that garlic planted that my sister Renee brought me. But I'm going to wheelbarrow some topsoil over there by my canning kitchen. But first, I have got to get these tomato plants staked and tied and there goes another little racer but anyway that's what i'm about to do now guys i just wanted to show y'all where i was today and and god has kept it overcast for me all day and i couldn't be more thankful because usually by the time i'm needing to get out here if i'm out in the sun i'm just zapped y'all know how that sun will just zap you so i'm very thankful that it's been overcast because i still feel like getting out here and doing this so i'll put y'all down down right here and i need to go find something to to whack these stakes in the ground about to get it done and the sun has stayed off of us all day that's so so good thank you thank you thank you 
I'm gonna finish tying up these tomato plants. Then I gotta go check on my daddy. Get him some supper so I can get us some supper. John and I are just thinking about frying some fish tonight out back. Y'all saw I cleaned it up, so we can, huh? <laughs> so anyway, y'all, before I run out of battery juice on my cameras, I want to tell y'all, I hope y'all have a great weekend and a good night. I'll see y'all next time real soon. We got to cook something, right? Yes, yes, we do. <laughs>